But right now, the media quick to pounce on former President Donald Trump's remarks regarding Lake and Riley's accused killer. Several outlets and even the Biden campaign claim that Trump called migrants at large animals. But the Trump campaign insists they are once again taking his remarks out of context. Let's bring in Fox News contributor Joe Concha for more on this. So here's what Trump said in Grand Rapids, Michigan, that caused the firestorm. Joe, listen here. And just a few weeks ago, I met with the grieving family of Lake and Riley, the 22-year-old nursing student in Georgia who was barbarically murdered by an illegal alien animal. So the Biden campaign picked that up, just the part where he said that uh, the word animal and said, oh, Trump is calling mm -hmm. illegal immigrants at large animals subhuman. And then the media ran with it, Joe. Yeah, what this shows without ambiguity, John, is that a growing number of news outlets exist for two reasons. To make Republicans, and especially Donald Trump, look bad, and to assist Democrats, and especially the Biden campaign, in making them look good, basic truth, facts, and be damned. And, and John, you could go out onto the street after this program, and you could ask 100 people if they think 22-year-old Lincoln Riley, Lincoln Riley, being beaten to death in Georgia by a man who attacked her for no reason is the act of an animal, or if 25-year-old Ruby Garcia being shot multiple times and being left on the side of a road to die in Michigan at the hands of someone who entered this country illegally is the act of an animal. An overwhelming majority of people would tell mm -hmm. you that the animal description is appropriate. And by the way, we've seen this movie before, John. Back in 2018, Donald Trump, as president, called members of MS-13 animals. And this was in light of multiple instances of these gang members brutally torturing their victims first before murdering them in the most horrific of fashion, the acts of animals. Uh, but I can provide you dozens of examples of news outlets back in 2018 at that time, purposely omitting the part about Trump specifically talking about MS-13 members and mm -hmm. presenting instead a version where they accused Trump of calling all immigrants legal, illegal, all combined into one entity as Animals. So I would say the fact checkers will be coming to the rescue here in 2024. But you look at PolitiFact and Snopes, John, and I'll leave it here. They're ignoring this instance when it probably would be the easiest fact check they can do. Yeah, back to 2018, the New York Times was one of those outlets that said Trump calls some unauthorized immigrants animals in rant. He was talking about people who are notorious for murder, decapitation, dismemberment, rape, among other things. Uh, here's how this yeah. all got going in the, in the last couple of days. The Biden campaign's rapid response posted a video of Trump on X with the quote, Democrats said, please don't call immigrants animals. I said, no, they're not humans, they're animals. What Trump actually said was, Democrats said, please don't call them animals, referring to the alleged murderer of Lake and Riley. But the horse was out of the gate. That meme got picked up by Reuters, mm -hmm. which said, Donald Trump called immigrants illegally in the United States, quote, animals and not human, in a speech in Michigan on Tuesday, resorting to the degrading rhetoric he has employed time and again on the campaign trail. And it didn't stop there. There was this incident on a rival cable network. Watch here. Okay. When he says these, uh, these immigrants are animals, they're not humans, what does that su suggest? I mean, isn't that brutal? Shouldn't people be condemning that? I listened to the entire tape. He was specifically talking about the person who murdered Lakin Riley in Georgia. And to be honest with you, Wolf, if somebody murders another human being, I think they deserve to be called animals. Joe, I think there's a lot of people who would agree with Scott Jennings that if a member of their family was brutally murdered by somebody, whether they're here illegally or not, they could refer to that person indeed as an animal. Yeah, John. Good for Scott Jennings, by the way, because obviously he calls out his own network for purposely cutting off half the quote there, Wolf Blitzer, in that particular case. And there were other instances of that happening as well. I, the only thing I could say is that at least now the playing field is being leveled in terms of, yes, Fox News has been around uh, for a long time, but social media and, and particularly Twitter slash X, more and more people on there are calling BS on this and getting tons of mm. views into the millions as far as here's what Trump said and here's what happened. So legacy media doesn't have solely the microphone anymore. And by the way, since they're so distrusted, particularly by those in the center and the right, uh, the type of influence they have just isn't there the way it used to be. So between social media, outlets like Fox News, uh, it's suddenly now we're seeing you can't get away with this, uh, perhaps the way they may have been able to even 15 years ago. All right, Joe caught you for us on that. Joe, appreciate it. Good to see you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.